Hey everyone, so this is the second video in my series of videos on how to use JSON in Oracle 12c. So in this video I'm going to cover how to query JSON objects using the dot notation. And to demonstrate this, first thing I'll need to do is set up a table with a JSON column in it. Or to be more specific, a column that has the JSON constraint on it. So I'll create a table called <clears throat> dot notation. And I'm only going to have two columns in this table. I'm going to have an ID column, which is a number, and I'll have a data column, which is going to be a clob, and there's going to be a constraint on that column. So data is JSON. And I'm not going to worry about strict JSON or unique keys or anything like that because the examples I'm going to use are fairly simple. And I showed you how the constraints work in the previous video. So let me create this table. Okay, so I have the table now. And the first thing I want to do is insert into the table um, our first JSON object. So it's going to be a really simple one. So dot notation values, let's use ID1, and the JSON object will be name, and I'll use my name, Anthony, and that's it. So I'll insert that, it's been inserted into the table. So now let me run query to get the data from dot notation. So we see the row return, there's only one row, ID1, and then the JSON object with name Anthony. So the first thing I want to do is query this JSON object directly. So the first thing I need to do is have the column name, data, and let me query that. Okay, so from here, I can go into the JSON object and start to query inside of the JSON object. So before I can do that, I have to put an alias on the table. I'm not exactly sure why, but Oracle doesn't allow you to query into the JSON object without having the alias first. So I'm going to use alias DN, and I'll put DN before data. So it's exactly the same. And now that I have the column with the JSON data in it, I can look inside of the JSON object. So this particular object only has one key called name. So dot name and I'll run the query and it returns Anthony. So this is no longer looking at the the columns in the table alone. It's looking inside of the data in the column. So if you just have the name of the property in the JSON object, you can query it using dot notation like I just did. And this property value or key, whatever you like to call it, is case sensitive. So if I did name in all uppercase, I'll get a null back because I can't find name. It only exists as all lowercase name. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Let me add more complicated JSON object into the table. Slightly more complicated. So name Anthony title programmer. And I'll add that into the table. And now let me query that. So And it's the same result. And since both JSON objects in both rows have the same property names, name, I can query both of them. If I try to query title, then since only one has it, 
Uh, the first one returns null because it doesn't exist in this JSON object, and the second one returns the value because it does exist. So that's fairly straightforward. So let's get into nested JSON objects. So I'll insert another thing into the table. Let's do person and then this should be name Anthony and then title is going to be programmer and two curly brackets and that should be it insert that into the table okay so now I'm going to filter it I don't want to get the data from the first two columns so first let me run this query and we see we have this JSON object so if I do the dot notation with person I'll get the inner JSON object and then if I add another dot with another property let's say name then I'll get my name and the same thing with title okay so that's how you go into nested JSON objects so there's a couple more examples I want to show you so let me add in yet another JSON object it's going to be four let's try names and then Anthony Stacy Jim and Christina so now it's not just JSON objects alone it's the the object and an array inside of the object so let me insert that and I'll hold off on specifying the the query or the dot notation inside the the column so dot notation I'll use the um, ID again alright so I want to select from the columns so data and we see we have the JSON object with this array inside of it and to get the array then we just do names okay and this is as far as it can go and this array that gets returned it's not a valid SQL data type so you're just getting a var card 2 back and you could parse this out if you want but there's a better way of doing it and I'll show you that in a later video but for now I'm just gonna show you uh, what I've shown you here just how to get this array out with the values in the array so the last example I want to show you is a little more complicated so let's do people and this is going to be an array of objects so the first one is going to have my name and title And I'll have another one. Let's see Stacy title. And I'll add a third one, even though it's gonna go too far to the right. Name Jim Title Pilot. Okay, so there I have I have an object with an array of objects. So dn.data from dot notation. All 
Okay, so if I wanted to get the people, this is what I would get. I'd have this array return. But unlike the previous example where we couldn't really do anything inside of the array, and this one we can because there are valid JSON objects inside of the array. And they all have the name. So if I do dot name, what gets returned is an array of only the names. So Anthony, Stacy, Jim. And same thing if I do the titles. Programmer, CEO, pilot. So that's one way you can peek inside of an array if there are JSON objects inside of that array. So those are the examples I want to show you uh, using dot notation. There are other ways to query JSON objects in the database. This was just the first way. So in the next few videos, I'll show you other ways of handling the JSON objects so you can get the data out of them and use them somewhere in your application. So just watch out for that video and thanks for watching.